Okay, YouTube, so I am back home from NACA. I woke up 4.30 this morning and um, to drive there, but my husband wasn't feeling well, so I left my house like 6 o'clock. And I, as I said in the previous video, I got there at like 7.12. But I've learned some information. I went to my intake. And what I've learned is this Achieve the Dream event. They hype it like you'll be approved on the spot regardless. Well, it's not true. The only way you could be approved on the spot is if you go there and you have money in your bank account. Like, if you have the minimum required funds... If you have, let's say, ten, twenty thousand dollars in your bank account, you've been saving up for this event, for for this house. Then yes, you could be approved by submitting all your documents, uploading them. They put it together and then they submit it to the underwriter. But if you go there and you weren't saving up for the house or anything, you won't be approved that day. But you'll be close to approve if you could get the money now I wasn't approved but I just wanted numbers so I got some numbers um, right now I'm approved for three hundred and seventeen thousand um, dollars for a single-family house in Fairfield County in Connecticut now, I wanted to go with a multi-family, but they were trying to approve me for somewhere like $543,000. And I don't believe that $543,000 could buy a multi-family house in Fairfield County, Connecticut. So, I decided to just go with a single family because I really need to move from Bridgeport. It's, mm -hmm. My commute is just too far. And I cannot handle it. So, one other thing that I realize is your minimum required funds, your MRF, it can't be gifted money. That money has to be seasoned in your account for three months. So, I am going to be set back three months. Even though I could come up with that money like yesterday... They don't matter. It doesn't matter. The, the money needs to be seasoned in your account. You need to show them that you have been saving that money. Your minimum required funds. I mean your payment shop needs to be saved. And your minimum required funds. But I'll get some more clarification on that. I'll get some more clarification on that. Um, another thing I learned is... Um, you could only buy a NACA house every three years if you sold it or if you paid off the mortgage. You have to wait three years before you could do another NACA home purchase. Um, the event was great. A lot of people got um, approved for the money. And... Um, yeah, NACA, NACA is great. NACA is great. Because that minimum required funds and that money is money that you save. You don't actually, when it comes to the closing, you don't actually spend that money. Like the only thing you really spend the money to do is to do your inspection. That's it. So with that, you could take that money and then you could use it to buy down your interests get more money at the end so that's just money that they need have you to save so I'm bummed that I didn't walk out with an approval I thought you could I thought they would I thought they would have just approved you and then give you time to save the money now you have to come there with the money so it's Basically, the Achieve the Dream event is for people who was already thinking about a house. And 
actually it's not for people who was already thinking about a house it's for it's for everybody it's to get you into the process faster other than you waiting five six months to see a counselor but it's really it, i think it's more beneficial to for people who are already in the process and they're having a hard time with their counselors or it's for people who have already had a mindset to buy a house and they saved money so all they need now is to just buy so but for people who just don't have no money period don't work like that um you need to have that money it's not the money that um it's not money that you're going to spend. It's just money that you need to have saved. So, hope this helps. Somebody correct me. Somebody on here watch my video and explain to me. Explain this minimum required funds to me. I don't understand why that money can't be gifted. I understand the shock payment, but why can't the minimum required funds be gifted? Um, that's a question that I'm definitely going to ask my counselor and get some clarification on that anybody on here who's knowledgeable and knows that specific question leave a comment help me understand it have a good night and thank you bye